but I'm about to tell you guys about this card. It may be controversial. It may be considered a hot take. I'm not really sure. You guys let me know in the comments. But first, before I tell you, we're going to just look at the chart for a second, and then I'm going to get right into it. So this is the Pikachu from Surging Sparks, the Chase card, the special illustration rare. We talked about this card potentially going up after release, kind of pulling a Greninja. It's kind of the example we used. We compared it, right? And pre-release prices were $300, and currently it's just gone up and up and up. Now, most recent sale was 425. We see that right here. But there was a $600 few $600 sales, a 625, a lot really close to 600, okay? Currently, as of this recording on TCG Player, the lowest listed is 760. After that, it doesn't take that many cards to get up to 1000. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to get to 1000 right now. It could. It could. But what I'm going to say is and we'll take a look at eBay, but, but what about eBay? You're only looking on TCG player. That's not the market. Okay. Well, eBay's worse. 800, 700, 550, 600, 650. Those are the last solds. 800 is the last sold on eBay. So, okay. Now to my point, this is going to be my point right here. Okay. You look at these, these are the pull rates that were just released by TCG player. They opened over 8,000 packs. Now, this is the truth, guys. It takes, on average, 960 packs to pull a specific SIR, AKA the Pikachu. So let's just do the math for you guys. I just, this is, this is, this is for the collectors, okay? This isn't really for the investors, okay? 960 packs times, say you got in at a great price, you got $2 a pack, that's $1,920 to pull the Pikachu. I get it. Some people want to pull it. Some people have to pull it. You guys are going to spend a lot of money to pull it. You could get lucky. Of course, you could pull this first pack. That's possible. That's not likely, though. This is what I've learned. I've wasted thousands and thousands of dollars ripping packs. And this is one of those cards where I, if you have to have it right now, I, I wouldn't buy it right now. I, I'm not going to buy this card. If I pull it, great. I'll probably keep it. But I'm not buying this card. But if you have to have it right now, just buy it. Isn't this a lot cheaper than $1,900? Now, let's say you didn't get in at those prices. You do 960 times, say you're at more at MSRP. You're at $4 a pack. It's $3,840 for this Pikachu card. So these prices right here don't seem that bad. Now, once again, I'm talking to the collectors. I'm not really talking to the investors. Uh, unless you believe that this card can go to 1,000 raw, I mean, the Moonbrion is, it's definitely possible, right? We have a precedent, a card right now that's like 1300, isn't it like 13, 12, 1300 raw? 1300, I think it is. Um, so my point with that, for investing, singles, I think this is too volatile possibly of a card. So for me, it's a little too risky. If you guys want to invest in it, you know, that's a different story. But if you're going to collect, the odds of you pulling this card, those are those, that's the money that you're going to spend to maybe pull this card. And that doesn't mean even after a thousand packs, you'll have pulled it. That's just the average. It could be worse. could be better, right? So I, let me know if you guys think that's a hot take, if that's controversial. I don't normally say this on the channel, but if you, ha that's, once again, it's under, if you have to have this card, if you're, if you have to have it, just buy it. I say that for the most part about any card, even, you know, the Moonbrion, if you have to have it, don't try and pull it, just buy it. It's going to be cheaper. You could get lucky, but anyways, back to Searching Sparks. We got booster boxes. Uh, they're fluctuated a little, right? I think some people are dumping theirs, and that's what's bringing them down. They went from 163 down to 159, back up to 160. They were 168, now back down to 164. Uh, so last sold's 160, 163, 170. I wanted originally to wait till Friday to make this video, so it can be like one week official release. But things were just getting too crazy. I had to make this video. Uh, this is Tuesday uh, as of this recording. So uh, lowest is 170 currently. So it looks like uh, this 160 wave is going to be gone. It's going to go back up uh, to 170 ish. We'll see. There are 476 boxes currently listed on TCG player. And we have obviously way surpassed pre-release prices. It's up 10% over that and 40% growth in the past month. But that's not the market. What about eBay? What, what about other places? 167 plus 
thirty dollars shipping. Well, I didn't even say that's shipping's a lot, but one sixty seven. There is a one fifty here. There's one sixty seven, one seventy eight, one seventy seven. Okay, so eBay says they agree. This is the price. Okay, we'll take a look at some more singles. Uh, this is the Latios. Now this is a special illustration rare, a connected art card with the Latios. And this card is down off of pre-release prices. There are only 17 listed. Once again, this card is just as hard to pull. This is one out of 960 packs, okay? Same thing. If you want this card, if you have to have this card, just buy it, okay? Uh, cheapest, 200 on TCG player. I, I, I don't have the eBay pulled up for every single card. I wanted to use the Pikachu and the boxes as the main example. So I do apologize, I don't have those posted, but this card is rebounding a little. It went all the way down to 183, and now it's coming back up to around 200 as the lowest listed. The last solds are 195, 214, 207, 195 for the Latias. Then we'll take a look at, so these are the Pokemon Center, the stamped promo, right? The ETBs with the, uh, you can see it barely right here, the Magneton. So traditionally these, not traditionally, but in more recent times, these have done very well. And this is a nice artwork on this stamped promo. Uh, Pre-release prices were high, 150, 160, came down to 100 and they are starting to climb. Last solds 109, so up almost to 110 currently. Uh, this might be a little bit of a more slow burn on this, so it doesn't surprise me there. Then the gold card. So this, this if we go back to, let's go back to our poll re real quick. Any gold card, a hyper rare, is over a thousand packs. Okay, so this gold cards, I believe, have always been in this era, have been the hardest to pull. However, they haven't been very expensive as a rule. And this card still being a hundred dollars, this is harder to pull than the special illustration rare. Do you guys understand that? This card is only a hundred dollars. So it is nice to see, for once, one of these gold cards actually gaining. 162% over pre-release prices, which is kind of crazy. But this card is hard to pull. So that's what you guys need to understand. It definitely at hundred bucks. If you guys want to buy this, just buy it, okay? It, this this is even worse than the special illustration rare. Uh, there's only 13 on TCG player, and it's only $100. In theory, I know that artwork, art is subjective, right? But in theory, this should be more expensive than the special illustration rare if you're going by rarity and hard to pull, okay? It's as simple as that. Uh, we'll see where this card ends up. Last sold 116, 105, 105. I'll keep you guys updated on where these, where everything ends up. Um, probably throughout the next weeks and months, we'll keep checking in on the set eventually. This is normally what we see, the Hydreigon. I think this is a cool looking card, uh, but at release, it's high, and it usually just kinda keeps falling until it hits the floor. Now this card is uh, under 100 bucks now, and last sold 91, 93, 91. We'll see how long this card ends up here. Once again, this is just as difficult to pull, okay? So for collectors, get the cards you want. Um, for me, if I was a collector, I would probably wait on, on these personally. Uh, I'm waiting. I'll, well, one of the cards that I have to, that I will buy, uh, we'll talk about in a second. Cause you know, I, I do, I'm an investor, but I do collect as well. So, you know, that's kind of the weakness to an investor sometimes. The Milotic. Same thing, so this is another connected art card with the Phoebus. This card, we're seeing typical typical release pattern, right? It's kind of just, it was 100 bucks, now it's down to 82. I think that this is a very nice looking card, it's very stunning. Surprised that it went down this quick, but yeah, last sold's about 80, 82 dollars seems to be about right. Uh, not totally surprising. Now this card, this card is one I have to have. This is the Florida Christmas tree that I have to have this card. I will buy this card, but it's kind of free falling. Uh, yeah, I mean, it went from 93 and it's almost been cut in half at $54. But this is just as hard to pull. And if people don't like it, I will wait for it to hit that bottom. Man, if it gets around $30, uh, just because I like this card, I, I, which is surprising because I don't really like the Alolan version of Executor that much. But something about this card just really called, called to me. So I will be picking up this card. Uh, yeah, we'll just let it fall, guys. You don't need this card. Just let me have it. So this is one of those examples where I'm just going to wait. Just let it fall off, do its thing, right? This is, once again, more typical of what you see. Uh, the Pikachu just soaring into the moon is not normal, okay? Then we have the Latios. This is the connected art card. This 
is a little bit different of a chart as you guys can see. There's only uh, 59 currently on here. We'll hop over to the pull rates for a second. This is one out of 300 for due to how many illustration rares. So just keep that in mind as we look at this card. 300 packs to pull this card on average. It came out the gate at 51, it actually went up to 52, came down to a low of 41, and now it's climbing back up to that $50 mark. Last two, last sold, somebody bought two at 50 on TCG Player. So we'll see where that, this card ends up. There's 59 copies of this on TCG Player. It, it pairs with the Latias really well, so uh, obviously connected art. So then we have, uh, we don't don't normally get a lot of these cards on here. This is just the, this is not the, the least version of this card, but it's a step down between the special illustration rare and the gold. This card came out at $35, it went down to sub 20, and now it's climbing back again. There's only 39 of these available. Um, once again, we'll, we'll take a look at the pull rates for this. This would be an ultra rare. I believe this is an ultra rare, right? Uh, let me know if I'm, yeah, that's it's an ultra rare. One out of 312 packs for this card. So this is kind of the poor man's Pikachu if you can't afford the others. Uh, but this is on the rise again. So we'll see where it ends up. 28, 28 last solds, um, once again. Not as big of a card, but just thought I would include it. Now for a reference point, we're gonna look at the Greninja. Now this is the card that kind of changed the Scarlet and Violet era for the card in the set. I've talked about it before. For that changed Pokemon investing for the this era. It, you normally, like when Twilight com came out, you would let the boxes, you know, if you didn't have distribution access, you let them come out the gate, let the pre-release sell high. They'd run down to 80 bucks, high 80s, low 90s sometimes, and the singles would drop. This this was different. This this card in this set, the set is still expensive. This card came out at 158, went down to 118, climbed, went down, and then it just stair-stepped all the way up to, and even right here, it looked like, oh, it hit 300 and it's really, and it cooled off for a while, a few months, and then it was like, nope, we're 300 and we're climbing. So the hype around this card was real. Uh, last sold's 350. Uh, 320, 325 on the Greninja. So this is the card. This is where I started looking at things different. I started for sets. I was pre-ordering. I'll just pay a little bit more for my sealed product per box. I pay a little bit extra, uh, but I'm not going to get burnt on the boxes. Singles are a different story. So that's where we compare the Pikachu to the Greninja. I think it's safe to say that while Greninja is a very popular Pokemon, that Pikachu probably is more popular, and that the demand now, the market now for Surging Sparks is way crazier than it ever was for Twilight. I mean, the demand was there for Twilight, obviously, because that's why it did what it did. But this is, we're, we're in a whole different, this is like, this is like evolving skies, Umbreon, Moonbreon level hype that's happening right now in prices. Because the the moon round didn't always wasn't always a thousand over a thousand dollar card, right? So just just keep that in mind. So um, to summarize, let's let's rein this all in. Surging Sparks is doing absolutely bonkers things. The market is absolutely crazy. If you like, if you have to have these cards, and you, if you're let's put it this way, if you're a collector and you have to have this Pikachu. Like, and you, I don't, sorry, I'm kind of, I'm trying to think of an elegant way to say this without saying it the same way I've already did. But if you have to have this Pikachu and you're really worried that it could go to $1,000, which is possible, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I, it is possible, okay? And you haven't, and you have to have it, it you should just buy it. I don't know. That's kind of the summary of this video. But once again, I'm not, I'm not buying that card. I'm not spending that much money on that card. I can miss out on that card. If I pull it, I'll probably keep it. I don't know what, I don't know what price it would have to go to for me to keep it. If you, if you're this far in the video, let me know if you, if you pulled the Pikachu, say out of just one pack, what price would it have to go to for you to sell? A lot of, a lot of you might sell now and that's understandable, but I think I would probably keep it at this point just because I don't know it's kind of like a, it's like a trophy. So if I pulled it, I'd keep it. Uh, I'm supposed to get my, I still haven't got my surging product. It's supposed to be in today. We'll see. Uh, so hopefully there might be an opening video tomorrow. If I pull the Pikachu, things might be crazy. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, although I had a little, little incident. I got, uh, I got bit by a dog mangled a little bit. So I can't really open very good. And I don't really want this like nasty 
hand on camera. So I, maybe there won't, they're not going to be an opening video tomorrow. I'm going to have to wait for that. But uh, anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to give, this is a Surging Sparks update with the Pikachu doing crazy things. So it had to be talked about. And yeah, that's going to do it. Catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.